Good morning. Welcome to the party. We are live, boys. Good morning, yes. little Timmy. Good morning. Good morning, Big Dell. Good morning, Nikki. Nikki, with all them colors on. I see oh, y'all shiny. Look like a goddamn throw rug. I thought she was a throw rug. I'm about to lay her down and walk her ass. Lord Timmy, I hate you. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? She put on the fancy outfits when she gets on the night before. That was... I know. Yeah, she did. She tried to dress up. Her role play is a bank teller. That's how she role play. Good morning. Good morning. That's me this time, Ben. Oh my gosh. I'm tired. Tired. Tired, right? Oh. I need to get some the night before. No, nah, I was at the Bronx. I was in New York last night, so I'm tired. Brothel? I was at the Bronx, New York. Oh, I thought you said I was at a brothel. <laughs> I wish I was. Monroe, welcome to the party. What's up, Monroe? Everybody on the feed, like and share this feed. This is the show where we come in here, me, little Timmy, and Big Dell. We talk about anything, everything, and absolutely nothing. So this morning we got a lot of nothing to talk about, y'all. Yeah, we do. Bunch of nothings. Yeah, how was your day yesterday? Uh, it was good. It was good. It was good. I finally got a chance to go to the gym a little Thank bit. Thank you, Lord. Won't he do it? <laughs> yes, he will. And realize how long I've been out the gym. Hey, <laughs> hey Del, when you've been out a while, it hurt, don't it? Oh, man, I'm sore right now, but I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm all the back, right? It's a, good, it's a good sore. It's a good sore. Yeah, but you know you got to keep going, bro. You got to. You can't to. stop. You got to go back. If you, if you stop, it's going to hurt again. Oh, yeah, no. We gonna we got to get through this pain and get it over with get back to the yeah. flow. It's like a threesome. You, the gym, and some Epsom salt. <laughs> <laughs> man, that shower felt amazing last night. It was? Yeah. yeah the hot shower felt amazing. Lots of shit going on, y'all. Lots of craziness going on. I don't know. First of all, you a Christian, little Timmy? I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm, a, I'm actually Catholic. You're Catholic? Yes, I am. That's even worse. Whatever. Like, damn, you know, they, they, they do creepy ass shit. Whatever. Anyway, so here's a pastor who must be the pastor of the craziest church on earth because he has somehow convinced his members to give him holy hate. Oh, I don't have a problem with that. I feel like every time a girl give me hate, she blessed. <laughs> no problem with that. Right. You tell I'm, you. So I'm to be a deacon. This guy's name is Sobrino Valdeci Picante. That means he's Mexican or something, Brazilian. I heard about it. Latino evangelist convinced he's not a, a pastor, he's an evangelist. Convinced his holy flock that he possessed holiness. Oh, really? I think Jamal Brown did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. His demon is holy milk. Pastor uh, evangelist Picanto explained that he had an encounter with Jesus. He must have came real good. It probably was a whore that got bomb head skills like me. The head game is on fleek. Listen, mm -hmm. this cat has explained an encounter with Jesus in a brothel who gave him a mission of spreading his sacred semen throughout the world. One victim says he convinced us that God could only come in through the mouth. <laughs> 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 you gonna let him in? You gonna let him in? Yeah. <laughs> nigga, look at this nigga. Will you pass the what you call it? This nigga is bananas. Okay, I cannot imagine what would give anybody the impression that this makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the new. That's how you get baptized in Jamal Brown Church. <laughs> That's how he baptized you. Can y'all hear, hear that sermon? Oh, Lord. Who wants to come on down and let Jesus come inside? Is there, <laughs> is there one? <laughs> is there one? Is there two? Is there many? Let all the flock come. <laughs> no, no. You're going to be blessed by the ball. <laughs> He can only come in two or three of y'all today, and tomorrow we'll set up some more appointments. Praise him! 
<laughs> no, Timmy, uh, Big Sean coming from DJ Oxygen said he going six flags. He wanted to invite you, but you got to at least be five. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I, I, yeah. I was going to a wedding this week. They asked for DJs, so I knew you wouldn't be available because you ain't shit, you fat fucker. That's why you mess with your nipples. Yeah, What's, up, nipples. Bree? What's up, Bree? What's up, man? DJ Oxygen. What, what'd you say? What'd you say? You DJ Carbon Oxide. <laughs> Kill these bitches. He is the bomb. Wait, the, uh, Bree said Timmy is non denominational. <laughs> Hallelujah, holler back. <laughs> we started talking in tongues. Look at him, though. Look at his face, though. He's like, Don't you say nothing. You take this Jesus with you. <laughs> Keep it in your mouth. Hold Jesus in your mouth. Stop. Stop. Oh, Lord. Hold if two or three of y'all line up together, I can probably get a little bit of Jesus in all three of y'all. Open your mouth. Yeah, open your mouth and just catch it. <laughs> catch it, 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 catch it. Like right. the Holy Ghost everywhere. I wonder how he sound. Probably... He was coming like, oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, you are stupid. Listen, not baptized by Jamal. <laughs> so Timmy hating on uh, Pastor Jamal. This is crazy, though. It is. So I, did he get arrested? He could. Could he be arrested for that? I don't know. They they, they did it voluntarily. Yeah, Damn. but people. So I wonder, did he do this in front of people? I'm sure he did. Oh my god. He did this in front of the church Monroe did. I would it, I it would. Depends on, it depends on how the sermon went. If he said, come down and get a little bit of this spirit. <laughs> Walking down to the food pit. <laughs> he said one finger. <laughs> oh Lord. Where are these people though? Who are these women? Like there was this other pastor who um did something similar. But he took he convinced at least he was going to He was going to convince a whole group of women that they had to go down to the water in order for them to get the holy ghost. They had to let him kiss their ass. I know. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that picture. I saw. I seen that movie. I saw that story. Yeah. Going down, tasting the water, just tasting the water, all in the gate. Okay, good morning, Big Who. Welcome to the party. But you know what? Hey, Nikki, that's bullshit. She just want to get somebody some head. Don't get us some bullshit. Who? Yeah, she just want. She ain't convinced her. You can't convince no woman to give some head in your, your semen holy. She wanted to give some head. She wanted that shit. He did it to a group of women, not just her. Yeah, and they all wanted to be a part of a bunch of lonely single bitches and gay heads since 83. Let me tell you something. Nobody <laughs> wants to suck dick. <laughs> No, let's, let's, let's get it straight. Nobody wants to suck dick if they black women. Black women don't want to suck dick. White dick suck your dick just because it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday. Let me suck your dick. <laughs> black women, my cell phone do. You want your dick sucked? <laughs> <laughs> suck dick for houses. Oh, it's your birthday. <laughs> You only get five minutes for that, nigga. What's yeah, wrong? With you? I'm gonna suck your dick all <laughs> night. Lunell said that's what prostitutes are for, right? Oh, my rose said I do. <laughs> <laughs> my rose said I'm on the dick in this boy. <laughs> I know. They, 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 my rose. Monroe take a Red Bull for she suck dick. She <laughs> <laughs> got a long night, motherfucker. <laughs> he drink a Red Bull first. <laughs> Give her wings. Give her wings. <laughs> oh, Lord. So the lady held it in, though. She held the nutsack come in. They ain't her first time. They ain't her first time. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, man. He probably said, oh, no, Sister Two-Step, hold it. Hold it. Hold it in your mouth. <laughs> hold that spirit. Hold that blessing. <laughs> if you're, they know, we say, if you're a spitter, you're a quitter. <laughs> 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 I, 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 
want to go to the Holy Head Church. Because all women, that, women that, if you're a spitter, you go with them. We are going to get a good Sunday laughs. We'll get a ton of material out of that church, Timmy. Let's go. Yeah, I'll go. Oh, man. Let's go see what, what is this. You just want to go and give some head. <laughs> you want to do you gonna, you I, I want to go and watch a man get head all day. Man. I'm not going to go. get no holy head. Uh -huh. You're going to have to give me the basket, okay? Go that one. Hey, hey. She's trying to get her blessing. I and know. Like, today's collection goes to Sister Nikki. Nikki, you trying to get blessed. Oh, out <laughs> Sister Nikki has taken all the Jesus. Uh -huh. no more Nikki, Sister Nikki is now the head of the church. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. That's what's wrong with the choir. Now we got enough skanks in the choir. <laughs> Right. We need some sucking sinks in the choir. Yeah. Mm. We need wow. most, get most well, that's I mean, but, uh, yeah. I wanna hear that. I wanna hear that sermon though. Okay. I do too. I wanna know what Sister Quintella Caldwell would have to say about this. Cause I can only imagine Sister Quintella going in. I can see Miss I can see Sister Quintella, the first one, and won't get nobody else a turn. Oh, get the hell out the way. <laughs> Hitting ladies on the head with her pocketbook and shit. Oh, man. All right, y'all. I want, I want, to, I want to know what scripture you read from. I'm gonna read to you from the scripture of Sugar Bear today. <laughs> you read from the same book my husband. None of you read from that clown had flavor flavor. Mm. Okay. So, Miss Willow apparently Willow is. Big who, big who say, big who say, Nick, if you come, he's gonna be in the pool pit. Big who, I'm coming, I'm sucking nothing, okay? I'm not sucking nothing. I'm coming with a long line of my fellow whores, and I'm gonna line them up while I'm collecting the basket. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I ain't sucking nothing. My sucking days off. Hey, Sin, good morning. Welcome to the party. Good morning. Listen, so Willow. Says she wants to be a man and a woman. Look at that. She wants a man and a woman? No, she wants to be a man, man and a woman. No, it said wants a man. I said that. Okay. No. Right. Uh -huh. She wants to be a man and a woman. But I don't know what, what that's about because uh, what's his name? Jaden wanted to be a girl when dresses not too long ago. So during the little red table talk, uh, the topic was unconventional relationships. And multiple partners work. Ain't nothing wrong with her brother, man and woman. Have you goddamn woman? That's what y'all gonna be anyway. I don't need no motherfucking man. So your tie go flat, and then you, know, you need a man. I ride <laughs> right past your ass too. Oh. <laughs> All my single ladies. All my single ladies. <laughs> All right. I N D E P E. Who run the world? So I ride right past your ass. Who run the world? Yeah, men and women equally. Also, saying that she focuses on emotional connection. Jada Pinkett Smith then says, "This, you, what is going on, Timmy? I'm trying to keep my phone cool. Look, just keep talking. Well, stop making all them goddamn noises." So Willow then says, "I mean, Jada, Jada says to Willow, this, you know me, Willow. Whatever makes you happy, I always tell her never be afraid." You have to live your life the way you want to live your life. Right. Yeah. Anyway. She wants a man. She so she wants a she wants a three way relationship. That's beautiful. <laughs> I don't want that shit. You know why? She type of girl you make love to her. She's like my turn. And the hell, fuck no. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't, think, I, don't think, I don't think she meant she wanted to be the man in a relationship. I think she said she wanted to have the opportunity to make man make love to a man and a woman whenever she desired, whatever yeah, she desired. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm, we can go with that. We can go with that. I'm good with that. I know what you mean, brother. I personally get a little bisexual after midnight myself. <laughs> So it's it's funny. It's funny how y'all yo, like good morning and like and share this feed, yo. But it's funny how. A woman can be like, oh, I'm bisexual. Man be like, oh, that's okay. We can get another woman. Exactly. <laughs> a, man, a man be like, I'm bisexual. I'll be like, you faggy. Yeah, we can't do that shit. 
that is such a, a double standard when it comes to uh, homosexuality. It yeah. is. And yeah. men and women, between men and women. Men right. are turned on by two women, but repulsed by two men. That's right. very, very odd. Although true. there are a ton uh, uh, I mean, a whole bunch, a whole bunch, and I wish Dell just come on, and come out and say it. Stop <laughs> for this, <laughs> hey, Del, just say it. Okay. Say it. Okay, I do. I, I want a relationship. Look, hey, Del, with two women. Come out the closet because you know stuffy in there. It's tough, it's stuffy. Del. I want a relationship with closet. two women. <laughs> okay. Shit, I don't want two women. I got asthma. Fuck that. I don't want two women. <laughs> So I'm guessing that this way, let's tell me if she's You got to know how to maneuver the relationship, Tim. You ain't got to do all the work. Sometimes you got to sit back and let them enjoy each other. Oh, really? Yeah, hold up. Watch the, watch the show. Yeah. Nigga, I'm, I'm 47. I fall asleep. <laughs> oh, is this the lady? Both of these pictures are the lady. Okay. So check this out. Is she sexy? Huh? Is she sexy? Her right here. She, she cute little. Oh my god. She definitely sexy. What she the white. hell is what is that? That's from a white. movie, ain't it? That's from the movie that. Annabelle or something, ain't it? From who? Ain't that movie Annabelle that's coming out today? Well, how about this one? Maybe this one. This works better. Maybe this one. more of a turn on. How about that? Is that doing it for you? Oh yeah. She see all that you saw that good credit? You see that you see that <laughs> I see a white woman. I see a FICA score. You see that shit? <laughs> oh, you see that? That bitch is a co-signer. Do you what see is, that co-signer? What is this? What is this? Uh, uh, one of those Snapchats of uh, uh, Timmy as a woman. So this lady, this lady apparently uh, says that she was sexually assaulted by forty-five. So anyway, her name is <laughs> and she alleges that in the mid '90s, maybe she was sexy then. Uh, Trump attempted to rape her in New York City, Bergdorf Goodman dressing room. That's aggressive. <laughs> like, you have been raped in a dressing room? He pulled down her tights. She pulled them off. Trump goes on to say, I'll say this with great respect. Number one, she is not my type. Number two, it never happened. Never happened. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Do I believe him? Hell no. It probably did happen. You can grab one of my vaginas. You can do anything. Right, right, right. That's that's. I'm almost that, convinced that happened. That's great. And who I grab the woman. By the, who grab the woman? Who grab the woman by the vagina, knowing if they on or not? Who wants to fuck around and come on <laughs> Who does that shit? So anyway, I believe it. She's not lying. Her too. Okay. When it comes to 45, anything's possible. She did. I was raped. Yeah. He tried to rape me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm back in the mid '90s. He touched my balls with his fingers. And I let him know he paid me, but still, Listen, he paid me. Who says she look like a ghost? So she, she does. Stop talking about my stop talking about my white queen. queen. What? Stop talking about my white queen. Y'all, see y'all, y'all look at this shit wrong. Look at that. She giving head on Tuesday. Fight the score up to date. Nigga, oh. she's getting her head every day, okay? You getting your dick sucked every day if she's at home. So what? And? And, just, and the problem would be? Congratulations. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, happy, I'm happy for you, Timmy. You go ahead and take that. Whatever. Get your life. If, if you ever see me with a white woman, it's got to be a white woman every white man wants. Nigga, you old. If you, if you say you, if see you with a white woman, she a nurse, you old fucker. <laughs> she, she better, she better, she better be, she better be a white woman. Every man want. I want a white woman where I get in her car and I have to slap that bitch and turn the radio station. Well, <laughs> you see, you see what another black woman killed me. I'm done with you, black woman. Y'all me out. I'm done. You fucking jigaboos. I'm done. I'm a racist black man. I'm like, I'm like Uncle Ruckus. I'm done with you, goddamn coon. You fucking coon boogers. I'm done, you black women. You Stay away from me. Get the hell out of here. Hell no, I don't want no pussy from you. I'm done. <laughs> no, I don't want that black vagina. That shit probably got eight, eight I don't, titties. I don't he want them. I don't want that big old booty and them succulent titties. Oh my god. Hell no. 
you fucking old drunk. Timber said, I'm in the phase now where I want a woman with her back pockets touch. That's right, then. <laughs> her back pockets touch. You know why? Because the bitch got good credit, Dale. Oh. What happened? You got good credit. You tell your pockets touch. I want a bitch with a camel toe in her back pockets touch. That's right. right. You know, you know, See women got big asses because they wallets don't weigh them down because they ain't got shit in it. What with you clowns? Where's my Wendy Williams pick? It's right I'm, there. It's Monroe. So. <laughs> he, he is on one today. He is not on. He is. I can't stand Wendy Williams. Monroe look better than Wendy Williams. I can't stand. Why are you going to talk about me? What does she do now? What does she do now? She finally pulled her dick out. She finally did it, didn't she? Just send me a picture, please. So, uh, Wendy Williams is back in the news. She's talking about moving her show to LA. Now that her and Kevin Kev. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why not, Timmy? Because the same reason that Steve Harvey did it. Don't do it. What's the same reason Steve Harvey did it? Steve Harvey did that show and it changed the whole complexity of that show. And the crowd is different. Me and Dell talked about that. Don't do it. Really? You think that's a Don't do it. That's a bad move. So maybe yeah, I, it might not. It may not be as bad for her because she did because she deals with with that kind of environment that. and that some of that fake hood is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so but the crowd's not real. That. Hey, Del, but the crowd's not real. You know how LA is? It's like a casting crowd. Don't do it. I don't know. Okay. I think, I think it could. It could be okay either way. I don't think that's what happened to Steve. I think that had, I think that's one part that happened to Steve. Steve's show was not the same at all when he went to California. Was it? But Tim, we can use her studio though. Enough. We can use her studio in New York. Did you? I already talked to him. The least, the least kind of high on the inside of the studio, but I told him we'll get a, a decent price if we just set up out front on the curb. Huh. Did you watch? <laughs> did you watch uh, Steve's show? Yeah, a few times. I didn't like it. You didn't like it in LA? No, when he when he, when he had it at first, it was more. It, it felt real. The crowd felt real. Everything felt real. In L.A., it just felt, it felt like Hollywood. Like, yeah, people more excited to see him in Chicago. No, a lot of that crowd be casted. It be a casted right. crowd. Cast it? Yes, they cast like it. Like, like, like at one of those nice clubs, they'd be like, you, you, you. Yeah, and, and they pay you. them people. Right. <laughs> yep. Fat bitch, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, good. Yep. You know you made the club? You know you made the club, they got lied. They got to let you in by your looks. Like, mm -mm, yes. Not you. Mm -mm. Not you. No, no, not no, no, you. no, no. Not today. No, not today. Yeah. Not today. Bill, you yeah. can... There's another club called Old Country Buffet. <laughs> Tell them I sent you down there. They'll no, let you in front of the line. You get VIP down there, you fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> right well, you are sick. sick. <laughs> yeah. But don't do it. I, I, I think it's a bad move, nigga. I think she's keep it where it's at, where it's real. And she, the crowd is already connected with her. Trying to move it bigger sometimes is not is not a good thing. Sometimes that's, bigger that's, is not that's, always. That's better. a valid point. But I, but I, but I think it's a toss of the coin. I think it could go good for her in LA. It depends on how man, they how they no, run it. Yeah, that man best stay right there. <laughs> I think it could go either way too. I okay, she could do well. She could do. Well, I take that chance though when you already doing well in your own market. Not with her, you know. I, I say go, Wendy. Go get the fuck out the way, fuck. Okay. Yeah. When you find out her ass canceled two episodes, I thought I told you. Now he comes to Nicki Minaj show. <laughs> <laughs> that shit getting canceled first promo. Little <laughs> <laughs> Timmy is the co-host. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pilot. That shit. Oh, yeah. They be like, "Is that that little punk ass police officer?" <laughs> Get shit out of here. Shit, yeah. <laughs> What's that? Halfway through the show, he'd be like, <laughs> Turn your head uh, down. Due, due to technical difficulties, we'll be bringing to you a rerun of the Andy Griffin show. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, this has been an amazing show, as always. Like and share this feed. Tell a please friend. share. Please share. Please share. Weekday morning. We talking about. Uh, and Nikki got Nikki finally got us a sponsor. Uh, Mass and Gill called us yesterday, so we'll be uh sponsored by Mass and Gill. Because he wanted me to. <laughs> he wanted me to dish out Timmy, little Timmy's ass. 
Give me a full Getting shit. him ready for the prison show. Black <laughs> that shit out. That's what he said, little Timmy. So getting him ready. Get him, get him prepped for the prison show. It's Talk Back Tuesday. <laughs> Give me a word of wisdom to, to roll with today. Before we before a word of wisdom, check this out. Yo, everybody, please share. You don't have to do a watch party. Just hit the share button and then let them let them decide if they want to look at it or not. But please just share and like this feed, man. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. And today, man, it's Tuesday, man. Um, talk back Tuesday. Man, what I what I want to say to y'all today, I just want to say, man, it's a beautiful day wherever you are. If, even if it's raining, it's a beautiful day because your eyes open up this morning and you have an opportunity to make it a great day for yourself and other people around you. So whatever you to do, whatever you decide to do today, man, just smile, be happy, be amazing in yourself. Remember, love yourself and everything else will be all right. Lord Tammy, any final words? <laughs> Yeah, uh, cut your ass, Carol, off, and you'll get waves. <laughs> Little Timmy, you froze it. What? Yeah. See, he talking shit. No. Yeah. Wait a minute. I ain't just frozen again. There you go. Say it. Say it. My final word is Taco Tuesday. He find a white girl and get some hair. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Tim Paul added up. His word of the day is stop fucking with Metro PCA. <laughs> Bottom line, okay? Bottom line, man. We are going to get the flick out of here because it's I too early for this shit. It's too early for this shit. Peace. Love y'all. Bye.